guys, welcome back to Gaming 3 and 1. Really appreciate the support you guys gave me on the first Scuff Instinct Pro unboxing video I did. Um, something different for the channel, but um, definitely enjoyed it. And I said I would bring to you, obviously, some a bit of gameplay and obviously an update and a bit of a review on the controller itself. As you can see, I really enjoy them compared to the Xbox Elite 2 controllers. I've still got one of those, probably just keep it in the drawer just in case. Um, but I bought two, I love to have a backup and um, that's what I've gone with. I'm very, very impressed. So as we said before, with obviously the controller itself, you've got the pedals at the back. I don't know if you guys got on with this, um, if you've got one or with pedals at the back. I, I just can't, I'm too heavy handed. Um, I was kept pushing jump and doing other bits. I know you can obviously, you can map it and have different pedals doing different movements and stuff. But what I've disenabled the, the back paddles now. Um, the reason I still kept the controller and bought another one is because I love the instant triggers and all the buttons seem to have such a, a low delay on when you push it to when it actually reacts in the game that I just thought I'm gonna stick with this controller. And um, as I was saying last time, the face plates come off. And what I was lucky enough to do is pick up a red one as well. So I'd looked at obviously getting one off Scuff off their website like I did with their new controller, but that's in PS um, PlayStation format, which I really can't get on with. So that's another thing. If they'd have brought the newer version, can't remember what it's called. If you guys leave a comment in the comments box below to let me know what that new controller is, but it's only it only comes in PS form, PlayStation form. I can't get on with having my thumbs on the thumbsticks. I know last time I said joysticks, but I'm old school. Come on, let me off, please. Anyway, so what I've done is, and the way I play with it now, I'm still playing with the original controller I bought. I've taken off the faceplate, and I thought with all the other accents of the gray and the white buttons, I just think that, that looks sick. I'm sorry, bump the camera. <laughs> that's the kind of setup, and that's what I wanted. Uh, if I was gonna obviously um, choose and choose my own buttons and colors, and obviously off the Scuff website, which you can do. Um, but the controller itself, the delay is so minimal. I'll show you some gameplay just now of the old man trying to take on all these little kids. And it's not easy at this age and having, you know, um, <laughs> the reactions have slowed down from when I was a professional rider, uh, motorbike rider. So we do what we can do. I need all the help, like I said in the first video. So it's all good. And like I said before, I really appreciate all the love you gave me in the last video. So massive thumbs up to you guys. And if you would, if you haven't already, and this is the second time, watch that first video. It's just a small unboxing. And I kind of ramble on about different things. I would say this has massively helped me with my gameplay. So check out, there's um, a bit of aim training in it and a bit of gameplay. And let me know. Be brutal if you want in the comments, I don't mind. It all goes straight over the top of my head. Or if it's positive, you know, I appreciate all the positive comments like you guys did leave. Um, and like I said, you showed me a lot of love. So on that note, check it out. Please like and subscribe and share it with your friends. It'd be massively appreciated and it costs you guys nothing. So on that note, take care, stay safe and peace out.